Hi, I'm Angie Eckert. Welcome to Eckert's Cooking Classroom. Pure Local Honey is all the buzz these days, so today I'm making Eckert's Honey Glazed Pork Tenderloin. Eckert's Pure Honey is what makes this recipe spectacular. The sweetness of the honey complements savory companions in the sauce, such as balsamic vinegar and soy sauce. Take a look at these perfectly trimmed pork tenderloins from Eckert's Butcher. The silver skin has been removed. That means our pork will be melt in your mouth tender. Now it's time to make a dry rub for our beautiful pork. We have a half a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a fourth a teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon pepper. Now it's time to put the rub on the pork. I'm gonna flip it over and get the bottom. I think it's ready to go. I'm using about three tablespoons of canola oil in my oven safe skillet. And we're gonna brown the tenderloin on all sides. Look at that great color. You won't want to skip this step because it adds color, flavor, and texture to this dish. Now it's time to make the honey glaze. We'll start with a half a cup of honey. We're using some soy sauce and some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of dark sesame oil, and some minced garlic. Whisk that together and we're gonna pour that over our delicious pork. Just pour it on. And this will make a delicious pan sauce while our pork is roasting in the oven. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 145. Our pork is out of the oven and I'm gonna make sure the internal temperature is 145. It looks good. We're good to go. So now we're going to put some foil over it and let it rest for about five minutes. There's all kinds of ways you can serve this. We're serving it on a bed of fresh veggies, but it's also delicious on Amish noodles or white rice. And you can top it with a little of the extra pan sauces for more flavor. For more recipes featuring local homegrown products, visit our recipe blog at EckertsRecipes.com. Thank you.